Hi everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to see another uh, basic stitch, the half double crochet. I have already done uh, a, a tutorial uh, with all basic stitches but but in order to help you uh, in, uh, when you are you're looking for uh, a stitch um, I've decided to uh, make the tutorial with each and every uh, basic stitch separately. Now we're going to make the slip knot and turn uh, chains, a foundation chain of 10 points and 10. Now we have to make two more uh, chains because two chains are corresponding to a half double crochet now when we start we insert the hook into the third uh, chain so yarn over insert the hook into the third chain and uh, draw a loop we have three loops on the hook just like we have in the double crochet stitch uh, the way of finishing uh, the stitch is different because we now yarn over and pass the yarn through all three loops. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain or stitch. Draw a loop. We have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pass the yarn through all three loops. This is the half double crochet stitch. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain or stitch. Draw a loop, draw a loop, and now you are over and pass the yarn through all three loops. Again, you are over, insert the hook into the next stitch or chain, and we have three loops on the hook. You are over and pass the yarn through all three loops. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch and throw a loop. We have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pass the yarn through all three loops. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain or stitch and throw a loop. Now yarn over and pass the yarn through all three loops. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, throw a loop, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pass the yarn through all three loops and last stitch, yarn over, insert the hook into the next chain or stitch and throw a loop. three loops on the hook, yarn over and pass the yarn through uh, all three loops. Now to continue to go in the next row we have to make two chains and turn the work and again yarn over insert the hook into the next stitch and draw a loop, we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pass the yarn through all three loops. Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch and draw a, a, a loop. Now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pass it through all three loops. Last time, yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch and draw a loop. And now yarn, yarn over and pass the yarn through all three loops. This is the half double crochet in rows. Obviously, the obviously the, the, the stitch is is the same, uh, but um, now I I'm going to make you see how to work half double crochet uh, in uh, the the round. 
now we uh, start by making the magic loop, the magic ring, and here also we have to make two chains, and then, and then yarn over and this time insert the hook into the loop into the ring and draw a loop we have three loops on the hook this time also and yarn over and pass the yarn through all three loops again yarn over insert the hook into the ring and draw a loop we have three loops on the hook yarn over and pass the yarn through all three loops Again, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, and throw a loop, yarn over and pass the yarn, yarn over and pass the yarn through all three loops. Last time, yarn over, insert the hook into the ring, in, into the loop, and throw a loop. We have three lo uh, loops on the hook, yarn over and pass the yarn through all three loops. So this is the half chabro crochet, the stitch is always the same. It's uh, only different the way of where we insert the hook when we work in rows or in rounds. Thank you for being with me, till next time, bye!